Hi guys and welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're gonna talk about the newest Windows 11 Insider Preview build, which is 22K478. I've just installed it today. This is a bigger update compared to the latest one that we had in the previous week. And this update comes up with a few features and a few fixes that will be very useful for a lot of users. Before starting this video and doing anything else, don't forget to leave a like down below and also subscribe to the TechBased channel because we always post videos like these about the newest Windows 11 Insider Preview builds and if you like and find these videos useful a very good way to support me would be to leave a like down below and subscribe to the TechBase channel. So let's begin with what's new in this newest Windows 11 Insider Preview build 22k478. First of all Microsoft began testing update stack packages that deliver update improvements outside of major OS updates such as new builds. This is a good thing because maybe this will mean that future Insider Preview builds will be more stable. We have a new updated build expiration date, which for this build would be the 15th of September 2022. So now let's begin with what's new in this new build. First of all, Microsoft is celebrating seven years of the Windows Insider program. So as you can see here, I have a new wallpaper and Microsoft is celebrating this anniversary by releasing two special desktop backgrounds designed by the Microsoft design team. And we have two new wallpapers. We have this one for the dark theme and we also have have a light one for the light theme. For me, both of them are pretty cool and in my opinion, they look pretty good. So that's really nice for Microsoft. They are celebrating and we are celebrating with Microsoft seven years of the Windows Insider program. Of course, I'm in this community for about two and a half years, but I'm very glad to be part of this community and all of you who are testing the Windows Insider builds are part of this community. So let's celebrate together with Microsoft by using these new wallpapers. In the build 22K478, we finally have the new Fluent emoji that was announced by Microsoft in July. Just press Windows plus the dot and you will have access to the new fluent emojis. As you can see here, they are pretty nice, pretty fluent as they are called. So it's uh, gonna be a nice experience using these new emojis in Windows 11. We waited for a bit to have these new emojis in Windows 11, but we now finally have them. Microsoft is saying on their official blog post that they redesigned all the emojis and introduced some nostalgia for the fans by making the standard paperclip emoji the beloved Clippy. And as part of this rollout, Microsoft is adding support for Unicode emoji up to emoji 13.1, which includes new emojis such as face in the clouds, heart on fire, space with spiral eyes, plus many more. Of course, you can check those out, as I've said, by pressing the Windows key plus dot in Windows 11. We also have a few changes and improvements to the operating system. We have an updated version of the Korean IMEE, which began rolling out with build 22K4 454, and that updated version of the Korean IME is now available to everyone in the dev channel. Another interesting thing is that when your laptop is closed, it is now possible to log into your PC using facial recognition or Windows Hello on a connected external monitor if it has a camera attached that supports it. That's really interesting and I'm looking forward to checking that out and trying that for myself. Microsoft also made a change to the underlying Indexer platform to help improve overall reliability and database size, which should help reduce disk space usage on the system, particularly in cases where users had very large Outlook mailboxes. A very nice addition to this build is that if you scroll your mouse wheel on the volume icon in the taskbar, this will now change the current volume level. So you hover over the volume icon on your taskbar taskbar and you can change the volume level using uh, your mouse wheel. That's really, really nice, very fast way of <laughs> changing the current volume level. So props to Microsoft for that. This is a very, very nice change and improvement. Microsoft also made some small adjustments to the dialogue when adding a new language in settings to make it look a little bit more modern, including rounding the corners. So that's pretty good. This is only a visual change, but that is really, really good in my opinion. We also have a whole bunch of fixes and no niches to this version. And you can check all of these in the description down below in the article. But a very important fix that that I have to mention in this video is this one regarding the file explorer. They fixed an issue where the command bar was doing unnecessary calculations when navigating to folders, causing an unexpected decrease in performance. This is also believed to be the root cause of performance issues when using drag to select files, as well as using the arrow keys to navigate in certain folders. So, so this is a very, very nice fix from Microsoft. And um, 
it was talked about for a few months in the insider preview builds we had a lot of lag and performance issues when using the drag function in the file explorer so we can test this out as a first appearance we can see that this is pretty much fixed in my opinion i can drag over files and no longer have any sort of lag or something like that so this is a very very nice fix that will increase performance in the file explorer so as i've said if you want to check out all the fixes and all the known issues from this insider preview build go and check out the article down below in the description from the itstechbase.com website in the article down below you're also going to have the download links for the wallpapers that you saw in this video and also let me know down below in the comments which is your favorite wallpaper that celebrates the seven year anniversary for the windows insider program this is the build for today 22k 478 i'm hoping you enjoyed this video and you found it useful don't forget to check out the article down below in the description if the video was useful and if you enjoyed it don't forget to leave a like down below and also subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one i was emmanuel from tech based until next time have a nice day